Before I get started with the sketches, I'd like to thank Sprizzy for paying for this video. The Sprizzy platform is simple and easy to use. They put me in front of the right audience to ensure that my video was being seen. I got big results with even the smallest budget. I signed in with Google to link my channel or you can search for your channel manually. Trusted by 10,000 plus creators and agencies. I told Sprizzy who should see my video. I provided keywords that describe my video as well as channels whose subscribers I'd like to target. Sprizzy got their attention through YouTube's ads. Sprizzy promoted my video to YouTubers searching for my keywords as well as fans of similar channels. I got views, subscribers, and real engagement. The viewers in this promotion were naturally drawn to my video and they were able to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Sprizzy found my ideal audience. Through YouTube's ads and websites, Sprizzy helped me reach up to 90% of the internet. No audience was too hard to find. Sprizzy is for all channels. Vloggers, health and beauty, family and couples, TV and movies, gamers, educational, books, and authors, Android and iOS. Sprizzy filtered low engagement while promoting my video. They filtered out low engagement viewers, such as kids watching parents' channels to maximize my budget. Sprizzy has a real-time analytics dashboard. I saw how many views, likes, comments, and subscribers I received each day from my Sprizzy campaign. Sprizzy also has a smart targeting algorithm. They combine machine learning and continuous A-B testing to find my most relevant audience. Ages, gender, location placements are all tested. Big and small channels are all welcome. Real engagement from real viewers. All growth was real with no risk to my channel. Previously on 24. following video contains graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to another Minute of Talk series. I'm your dynamic host, Wayne Knight. I have here with me today a very influential, important guest, UK graffiti artist known only as Banksy. Good morning, Banksy. How are you? Good morning, Wayne. I'm splendid, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, Banksy. Thanks for asking. Um, thanks for coming. You're welcome. Anytime, Wayne. I only have a few questions for you, B. Can I call you B? No. Okay. Let's get on with it, Wayne. Are you taking a piss? Uh, sure. You unveiled new artwork honoring healthcare professionals, and you donated 
the art to University Hospital uh, South Hampton in the UK. Can you tell us uh, what the name of the piece is and what it's depicting? The name of the piece is Game Changer, which features a young child playing with a nurse doll with a face mask and a cape. Interesting. Continue. Oh, you also notice that the painting or the work also depicts figures of superheroes, Batman and Spider-Man being thrown into a wastebasket on the floor. Uh, is it true that the hospital gained approval from you um, to create a new title that you've already deemed, quote unquote, the game changer? Of course, there was a name change to the title, which referenced the Premier League football team known as the Saints. Are you able to tell us the name? The new name of the work is Painting for the Saints. Oh, wow. So... The name is a reference to the football team in that area? Yeah, sure, but it was really a more... Well, that's all the time that we have today for talk series. I would like to thank my very elusive guest, Banksy, for stopping by. And please feel free to share, like, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Uh, say goodbye, Banksy. Boy, Banksy. Vice reports Amazon propaganda scripted and produced by Amazon. Millions of Americans staying at home relying on Amazon to deliver essentials like groceries and cleaning supplies during the COVID-19 outbreak. For the first time, we've been given a glimpse inside of Amazon's fulfillment centers to see just how the company is keeping its employees safe and healthy while delivering packages to your doorstep. Todd Walker takes us inside. Millions of Americans staying at home are relying on Amazon. Millions of Americans staying at home are relying on Amazon. Millions, Millions of Americans, Americans staying at home are relying on Amazon. Amazon. H3H3 Productions and Drama Alert have a rap beef. First, me is canceled. The New York Times has an article that's trending right now. It's big time that we should all cancel meat. Yes, yours and my favorite thing, meat, is canceled. Yeah, time's up for me. Me got meat too. Everyone is up in arms about this whole thing. And, uh... I am a person that says, you know what? I'll eat less meat so people can survive. Because that's what it's all about. It's about survival at this point, okay? It's definitely about natural selection. It's definitely about the tragedy of the commons. And also, we should all be a little bit more healthy, okay? Vegans and vegetarians and also Democrats will be thankful if you ate less meat. That's right. Meat got meat too. And it's canceled. Next story, the college admission scandal. Remember that? A bunch of uh, rich elites used bribery money to put their kids in prestigious colleges with no regard to people who actually earned their spot in the college. People that work hard most of their young adolescent lives to get into college. A lot of elite people paid money to colleges in the form of donations and they're making a documentary for it. So Netflix is going to make a bunch of money off of that whole uh, 
debacle and Lori Laughlin and her husband Massimo pled guilty oh yeah they're going down for about two to five months which turns into two hundred and fifty thousand dollars four hundred thousand dollars in fines and about two hundred hours of community service um which i believe it will just be that uh i don't think they're going to do a day in prison because come on man i personally i you know i definitely want to get my degree i'm enrolled in the university right now yes i know that it was a strong flex but that's what i do okay i I study and I read books and stuff if you haven't already guessed that um, and yeah I, I put in a lot of work to get to a university okay I started in a community college all right and uh, I still don't have a degree aside from the certificate of arts that I got from Brown and Stanford University of Minnesota in Minneapolis where I was a young 14 year old wonder king and um, that's for another day um, but uh, no, Lori Laughlin, aka Aunt Becky, is going to pay some fines and do some community service. I'm fine with that. I don't think the, she needs to go to prison. You know, it's just not a good look. She needs to get all of her jobs back and all of that stuff. Massimo needs to get all of his deals back. I mean, it is. I personally think that they were conned out of their money, and there was nothing they could do. They, I really, I really believe that they didn't know what they were doing. Now, that seems like gross incompetent, which is my favorite word, but I think they got conned out of their money. But uh, on to our next story. Let's get right into the rat beef with H3H3 Productions and Drama Alert. Um, this is a big deal on YouTube. Um, there are two billion views between both of these channels and almost 12 million subscribers between the two channels. And uh, it's, it's going down, okay? They're all over social media making diss tracks. They are just going at it. They're going at each other's throats right now. H3H3 Productions is claiming that Keemstar via Munchausen by proxy has been terrorizing other content creators and he's got a huge beef with that okay he's been terrorizing people with the names and likes of Fusey Tube, which I really don't know much about but he did some stuff for a charity and I think that's kind of cool you know whatever I don't know much about him but you know that's what's up you know, that's a good look when you do some charity stuff and you got the paper to do it you got the platform you know i'm not that mad and also the great etika may he rest in peace the great and late etika keemstar is accused of allegedly harassing a lot of these folks and sending them into a manic state and abusing um their status and their platform to pretty much just bring people down and it's just not good um h3h3 productions and keemstar star uh drama alert have been added since 2017 okay so this is a this is a a, a, a a old beef okay it's been broiling for a while right i mean this is this is what this is what a lot of content creators are doing um and you know they really don't need to do it but you know this is that kind of content you know and everyone loves a good fight so h3 h3 productions and drama alert uh started a rap beef and that is the gray area. Welcome back to No Spoilers. Uh, hi, Tina Fey, auditioning for Bloodshot. You want bloody? We can do bloody. Not bad, huh? Every man's got his weak spot. At least when I go, I know what it's for. Your brother never told you, never threatened a man's family. That's a pretty stupid thing to do, but I'll make it easy for you. I'll walk away when she walks away. Lenny. Just stick to the plan, Brian! I got the magic stick. I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. I hit the baddest chick. Show you don't believe me, they go me tonight. I'll show you magic. Magic. I got the magic stick.
And now, no spoilers. Oh. Thanks for watching No Spoilers. I'm Julia Louis Dreyfus. Tonight, we'll be ranking three movies. Knives Out, The Art of Self-Defense, and Rings the Cloud. Enjoy. You're watching DJ Nichols Comedy. I'm Gary Day. And behind me, we have a... Oh, So y'all, the 2020 shutdown left us all in quarantine. You couldn't leave your home except for groceries. It's not the flu or climate change, oh no serene. In fact, it's the most deadly invisible enemy. And I'd admit it, I'm paying the price for a lot of things, yeah. When it wouldn't have been a reason that I gotta be the same, gotta want the same. I don't wanna sing. Alabama reopen the beaches and salons. You can go out to a restaurant with your nieces and your mom. Public and Mike Dunleavy ease restrictions in Alaska. One of the first in the nation. The barbershop was a disaster. Arizona reopened. Phoenix and Tucson. They won't reopen churches. But hey, there's a pool and a spa. Arkansas reopened. They phased in their plan. I ain't wearing no mask, goddammit. Know why? Cause I'm a man. Colorado opened. Campgrounds and dispensaries If these private clubs and these bars don't open Life just won't make sense to me Georgia reopen My job's essential people Keep your distance Precautions simple people 2020 shutdown Left us all in quarantine You couldn't leave your home Except for groceries It's not the flu Or climate change Oh no serene In fact it's the most deadly Invisible enemy Don't know serene In fact, it's the most deadly Invisible in me Um, that one was a little political Not too political, but it was a little bit political And it was just me just stating the facts Republicans are the ones that are quick to open things up Even though it could be potentially dangerous For those people that are trying to go back to work. It's hard to disagree because people need to work. Um, the economy needs to have a boost. Uh, evidently, you know, some things were opened a little bit more slowly like churches and stadiums. And then there were other things that other landmarks that were open such as the spa and the pools, which, you know, I'm just pretty much making a joke with that saying that because, you know, barbershops and, and, and convenience stores and things like that were opening up just as well. Well, but these were small places that probably won't have too many people to begin with before they start to open stadiums. I'm a little social, a little social, I'm a little social. This is boring. 2020 shutdown left us all in quarantine You couldn't leave your home except for groceries It's not the flu or climate change, oh no serene In fact, it's the most deadly invisible enemy those songs were about the obvious, the thing that shall not be named right now because some people are a little triggered by it and they don't want to think 
about what's going on because it's that tragic and you know it's just the basic the basic things that we talked about before this even happened climate change we talked about the flu we talked about pollution all these things are invisible enemies that we couldn't not see we couldn't see them at all and so you know we all we all deflected from that because everybody has to go to work everybody has to have a job to feed their families so you know that's what that line was about in a nutshell Republican Mike Dunleavy eased restrictions in Alaska, one of the first in the nation. Barbershop was a disaster. Arizona reopened. Phoenix, Tucson, they won't reopen churches. But hey, there's a pool and a spa. Um, that one was a little political, not too political, but it was a little bit political. And it was just me just stating the facts. Republicans are the ones that are quick to open things up, even though it could be potentially dangerous for those people that are trying to go back to work. It's hard to disagree because people need to work. Um, the economy needs to have a boost. Uh, evidently, you know, some things were opened a little bit more slowly, like church and stadiums and then there were other things that other landmarks that were open such as the spa and the pools which you know I'm just pretty much making a joke with that saying that because you know barbershops and, and, and convenience stores and things like that were opening up just as well but these were small places that probably won't have too many people to begin with before they start to open stadiums. In Georgia reopened my job's essential people keep your distance precautions simple people um this one i had to make sure that i mentioned georgia and i had to do it real quick because obviously you know i only have so many bars before the next course so i made sure that i threw that in there at the end at the very end that's right where i wanted it it was perfect it was in the perfect place the lyrics i wanted to shout out essential workers because you know they've been our last line of defense um they've been working diligently when other people just weren't willing to do it some people wanted those people to do all the work and you know i call them the the last line of defense and you know i think they held it down and so you know mentioning georgia essential workers and giving people uh notice about precaution you know yeah state's gonna have to open up it's gonna have to happen eventually but still keep precaution you still have to keep your distance from people you still may have to wear a mask for a while until they start giving out vaccines and that's just pretty much you know where I went and then at the end of the song I just mentioned all the states that opened up but some states haven't and uh it's just you know it's real hectic up there right now and uh that's that's what the song is that's that's uh poetry Exactly like President Hagen did here. We now have a job to do. You can't anymore get away with this. This is a bad cop. The ones who watch and do crowd control for atrocities, they're not good either. Okay. Do you mind whoa, 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 whoa. telling me why I'm... That was sickening to me. Furious at the death of 46-year-old George Floyd. Longest eight seconds of my life. Interviewing another off-duty cop. That's exactly what I need right now since the bars are reopening. I need someone tough to shut things down in case someone tries to start a fight. Look at this dude. I 
bet he shot some people. Put somebody in a chokehold or some crap like that. What did I eat today? Tacos? Angeladas? I'm hungry again now. Thor 4 is trending. So is Obama. That's an eye combination. Whatever happened to Lil Scrappy? Oh yeah, loving hip hop. That was a good artist. You don't want no problems, problems. Hey, hey, 